Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Kim Scott, sharing my weekly reflection on habits of grace. From my home to yours, from my heart to yours. Okay, so a little honesty and vulnerability. This reflection has not come easy. My thoughts are all over the place. But I just keep hearing that inner voice saying, just be you, do you and all will be well. So here goes. I wanna start with a question and that is, how are you? Really, take a moment to do a little self check. How are you? I don't know about you, but my days are busier than they were before the mandate to shelter in place. Whatever it is that you're doing, baking bread, making soup, reading a book, watching TV, helping your child stay on track with school, whatever it is, it just seems like it's so easy to fill our days with busyness, with noise. I think that best describes my week until Friday. I woke up early in the morning, it was still dark outside and I was unable to go back to sleep. And so I spent the morning just sitting in the quiet and stillness of my home. And I realized that I was feeling a bit melancholy. And as I processed through why I was feeling that way, it dawned on me that we are all carrying very heavy crosses. With the talks of layoffs, and furloughs, I worry about the uncertainty of our future. I feel a sense of loss, missing the people I minister to. I feel sorrow for people who are losing their loved ones without the comfort of being with them holding their hand and saying goodbye. And conversely, I feel sorrow for those who are dying alone without the comfort of their loved ones around them. It's no wonder <laughs> why I feel a bit melancholy. And I can't imagine that I'm in this alone. I do find it interesting to see how people are dealing with this new normal. Some nervously laugh through it. Some busy themselves so they don't have to think about it. Some are eating more. <laughs> Whatever it is that gives us a sense of control in a situation that is hugely uncontrollable. But to be still and to be quiet, to slow down, brings us face to face with the reality that we are anything but in control. I read that someone said, when faced with death, there's no reason to hurry. When faced with death, there's no reason to hurry. Well, we are faced with death, the death of a life as we knew it. And it just seems uncertain how much longer we are going to mourn the life that we once knew. That's huge. And I think good reason to feel a bit melancholy. So what do we do with all of this? 
This Friday would have been the parish children's presentation of the Lenten Reflections. And so since we're unable to do this, uh, we have selected an audio recording of a past presentation. It's called Eyes on the Cross. It's very different, somewhat of a contemporary presentation of a story we all know so well. And as I prayed through it and um, was looking for images to accompany the recording, I realized that herein lies the answer to keep our eyes on the cross. I have always liked crosses. In fact, I collect them. Here is a picture of some of the crosses we have in um, our home. And they remind me that to be a follower of Jesus, we must carry our crosses. And COVID has brought us to the core of what Jesus said, whoever wishes to walk with me must deny themselves and pick up their cross. And then he continues, for whoever wishes to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. These words couldn't be more timely. So as we journey through this last week of Lent to Palm Sunday, into Holy Week, and finally to Easter, may we keep our eyes on the cross, a cross through which new life emerges, a life that fills us with hope and healing a life that enriches ourselves as well as others, a life that grounds us, that roots us, and that focuses us on things that really matter, things that bring forth beauty, goodness, and truth. Amen. May that be our prayer this week. Peace be with you. And until next time, God bless you, keep the faith, and keep your eyes on the cross. We are still the body of Christ.